Okay, we're going to try this again. This is Reality Is again. Um, I haven't been on here for a while. So what I want to say is recently I had another experience with another warranty company. I had one before, but this time it was with Warranty Direct. I did my research as, you know, it's suggested that you do your research about different warranties. And this company was, you know, BBB had on their screen and I had made a phone call and I explained to the gentleman that I had a problem with a previous warranty and any car that's passed year 2005 is a GMAC car they do not do extended warranty so you have to get an outside company but from my recent experience I had been paying into this warranty for a while I had actually paid like 1800 into the warranty. My car ended up having problems. They paid for two things, but the catch to the warranty is you have to take the car to the dealership and they have to take it apart. And then they have to call the warranty company back with the number for the parts uh, if there's something wrong with the car, which could possibly void you know, the warranty within itself. Uh, when I spoke to the gentleman, I told him that I needed my car to be covered from bumper to bumper. And I didn't want to be in a position where if something went wrong, I have to crash course and come with a lump sum. Well, when I talked to them, you know, he was like, well, then you read the contract. Well, if you're the company and I'm the customer and I'm asking you these questions specifically about a warranty and I tell you about my previous experience, you would think that you would provide me with adequate information so I would not be in the situation that I'm in. Needless to say, I canceled the warranty again. This is my comment to people or customers, consumers potentially looking to buy an extended warranty, don't do it. You would do better putting your money to the side in a bank for car expenses versus paying into some companies who have lied to consumers. You don't get the service that they say you're going to get. And it's ridiculous. It's unfair to the consumer. Now you got to go through all these uh, different levels to get your complaint heard. You have to go through all this to get your money refunded, to cancel it. And my thing, like I told the gentleman on the phone, it don't take you no time to take the money. Why can it take you all that time to give it back? Five to six weeks, seven to ten days. What kind of mess is that? It's my money. If I gave it to you expecting the service and you can't provide that service, then give me my damn money back. What is the problem with that? I don't have to wait five and six weeks. I don't wait five and six weeks for you to get the freaking money. And then on top of that, the warranty has a stipulation. You can't use it 45 days prior to or either, uh, what is a thousand miles? It's got a limit to the miles or whatever it may be. They take your VIN number. They want to take your uh, odometer mileage. And it's just crazy. It's unfair to consumers. So please beware. Don't buy warranties. Warranty Direct is the company. I know they say things. I went on Facebook and I ding their asses and then they uh, block my responses and everything else. So for you out there that's looking for an extended warranty, put your money to the side because these companies are full of shit. I'm telling you that. And it doesn't make any sense. Thank you. Have a good one.